Hi, it's me, Robin Raskin, and I'm sorry I can't be with you in person today, but I'm off in the metaverse. And brands are starting to experiment with their presence in the metaverse, and it will look like a way to engage new audiences, educate people about brands, entertain, and yes, even to sell goods, both in the physical world and as virtual digital goods. At the most basic level, you can enter a 3D world that you can explore and get information about products. But some of the first big things to make a splash in the metaverse were the entertainers. Ariana was on the Fortnite platform with the concert. Little Nas and 21 Pilots performed on the Roblox platform for millions of users. But there's more to the metaverse than just song and dance. Brands like Wendy's and Marvel and even high-end brands like Balcianega have integrated their IP into Fortnite's world. Roblox boasts over 150 million monthly members and its most popular game has been played 10 billion times. Roblox users spent a collective $1.2 billion on in-game currency this year. And brands like Gucci and Nike are setting up shop in Roblox. Nike created Air Max sneakers that are virtual sneakers you put on your Roblox characters. Can you see where this is going? Audience are buying virtual goods to clothe their virtual avatars in the metaverse. And they're often paying more than they would for goods in real life. Non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, from sales from establishments like Christie's and Art Basel, as well as new clearinghouses like Rarible and OpenSea, are all open for business. Mattel has a Hot Wheels garage where they sell racing cars in the virtual world. Neopets announced NF its NFT this week. Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Pringles, Charmin have all released NFTs selling for a lot more money than their real products in the real world. If branding's not your thing, there's always business as usual, just in the metaverse. COVID-19 made it difficult for us to gather, and Zoom got really boring. Now businesses are experimenting with meeting in the metaverse where avatars representing themselves gather together to share ideas and even whiteboards. I know, I know, they look a little disembodied and weird today, but the technology is growing exponentially. I'll be the first to tell you that I wouldn't stake my company's fortune or my own retirement on buying NFTs or in the metaverse, but a good company strategy for now is to start small, but get started. See you out there in the metaverse, 